Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Michelle. Today I have with me my daughter Michaela, and we are out on a grocery store run. She wanted to come with me. Usually, um, I kind of just come by myself, or they like to tag along now that we finally got her mask in. So we're the now the mask family. Um, so she wanted to get out of the house. I, God, it's been how long since she's been out of the house? I'm not sure. <laughs> the days are running together. Mm. I am one of those moms where they don't kind of get to go out. Um, pretty much we do work and we do the grocery store runs and besides like doing our exercise like in a daily walk or riding our bikes but as far as coming out to the stores and stuff we try not to come out as much as possible but today I know everybody gets a little stir crazy so she wanted to come to the store so she's gonna come with me and we're gonna try out our new mask instead of putting random shirts on your face or whatever you were doing that was really awful this is so much better yes and of course she picked out a stylish mask when I ordered on Thanks, kid. <laughs> Anyways, and please disregard me because anytime that I wear my mask, I don't put makeup on. So, what you're looking at is a fresh face, nothing but eye makeup. And I didn't get to bed till 5.30, so. Yeah, and she didn't. I don't know why. She's staying up till 5.30 a.m. Like, why? So, I'm really tired today. So, if you see me yelling throughout this video, it's not because my mom's boring. It's because I'm tired. So. <laughs> or maybe I'm boring. I don't really know. I mean, usually when you're not doing a lot around the house, it makes you not kind of want to. I mean, it's hard to go to sleep at night, you know, because yeah. you've not really been busy. There's and I no have my window tired. open, but it was so hot. Yeah. So hot because it's getting warmer here. So then the temperature inside is just changing. Which is nice. We're, we're quite okay with it getting warmer here. Yeah. But uh, I'm just saying it was hot in my room, even though I have my window uh, open. So it makes it hard to sleep. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so we are going to teach you how to make a tea that I like today. I also like hot tea in America. I used to drink hot tea if it got cold or if we didn't feel well or just sometimes just to be cozy. And so today I wanted to kind of share a tradition with you um, how I make hot tea. So there's a few things that I had to have from the store. So I thought I'd go ahead and put this video together and I just grabbed the few ingredients that I needed to make the tea. So. Stay tuned. We're going to show you how to make tea. Let's see how cute you look in yours. It just got hot. <laughs> I'm used to wearing this on a daily. It doesn't bother me, but everybody else in my family has the biggest issue. And the whole time I see them doing this in the store or something, I'm like, stop touching your face. These aren't so bad as those bandanas, saw shirts are wearing. Those are awful, but this is actually kind of standable. It's all right. Standable? Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's really a word. Oh. I like it. She made up words. Oops. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going into the store. Okay guys, so I am back from the store and I just wanted to show you the few ingredients that I did have to get. This is iced tea, unsweetened, um, country thyme lemonade, and tang. So now I'm going to show you how to mix up a tea that I like. Alright guys, so I usually just get a big bowl so I can mix everything together. And we are going to start with the Lipton's iced tea decaffeinated. And I believe this takes about one cup. So just measure it out. It's okay if you get a little right, a little wrong, whatever. You guys didn't know this turned into a cooking show, did you? Here you go. All right, next I have got um, Country Time Lemonade. And I think it takes three-fourths of a cup. Now guys, keep in mind, this is gonna last us all winter long. This is not like I'm making it to drink in one day so it's going to make a huge batch we all enjoy drinking it so i just usually once one of these containers is kind of empty i just kind of pour all this mixture in here that way we can just scoop it out as we're ready for a cup of tea um tang is two cups and i'm not really sure i know i asked in one of my other videos i'm not really sure if the uk really sells just individual tang but i happen to have it here so we're going to measure out two cups, one, two, that's going to be pretty much on my tang. And then we're going to go to the sugar. Go ahead and comment guys. It's all right. I know. It's a big bag of sugar. <laughs> if you watch my videos, I use a lot of sugar. Okay. So two cups of sugar. 
Now remember, this is a big batch, so don't get too excited with the two cups of sugar. It's a lot of tea. Okay, and then I just kind of stir it up with a wooden spoon or whatever. Honestly, at the end when I pour it into this, I'm gonna kind of shake it around and give it a little more of a stir. Then you can kind of do it as you like. I've done this recipe so much. I know the recipe I think calls for um, two teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm gonna just sprinkle some cinnamon in there. Cloves are the same way. I think it's one teaspoon of cloves. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in there. Honestly, I like cinnamon and cloves, so you couldn't go wrong if you gave me a little more. Go ahead. Your taste. My taste may be different. All right, guys, so this is kind of what we got it looking like. Um, my tea is kind of at the bottom, so I've just got to keep mixing. And I'm going to attempt to actually pour it <laughs> into this, this container here. So this should be interesting. So that way I can just shake it a little better. You guys want to watch this part? This could be interesting. That's not going to work as planned. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to take this spoon. That <laughs> might work out a little better. And just for days, sit here and scoop this mixture in here. Okay, so I've got it inside here, and I'm just going to shake it up really good. I've still got a whole big mixture here I'm going to have to find another container for, but that's my problem. I know. But I'm just going to give it a shake. And now for the fun part that you're not going to want to see, probably. I try to be as honest as possible, especially here on YouTube. So I'm not going to play fake like I could go get a kettle and I'm going to warm my water up in a kettle. And I'm not going to go over there to the stove because, honestly, I'm not going to boil water for one cup um, of tea. So what you're about to see, you might want to close your eyes for. We are pouring water in. Do you know where it's going after this? It is. It's going right here. I'm going to set it for about a minute. Alright, so once my water is hot, I just kind of open this up, take me a teaspoon, add a couple to it. I do like mine a little bit stronger, so sometimes I do three, sometimes four. And I just stir it up and I just add more as we go if I need more of the taste and this is a hot tea that I enjoy it is called Russian tea it's not your typical British um, Yorkshire tea I probably just butchered that name too but it is a tea that I enjoy so I wanted to share that with you guys and as always I love sharing, I love teaching, I love learning. So hopefully you stay around for the next one. And I will see you in the next. Bye.